Dr. Kirk Junge here. Today we're looking at a short lobster. The green is running away from me here. I'm on the short grass. It's fairway grass here on the side of the green. But the green is pretty quick and downhill. So what I'm going to do here is take my lob wedge. I'm going to open the club face a little bit. And still, as we said earlier in our earlier videos, we're never going to play the ball to the left of middle. With the lob wedge, all we need to do is open the club face. I can open the club face 30 to 40 degrees like you do in a sand bunker. And critical is going to be here. It's very critical that we're going to hit the ground under the golf ball. So it's going to be a descending blow, even though we want the ball to go high. One of the mistakes many people make is trying to get the ball to go up. And what they do is they actually raise the club head up. The club head needs to be going down. What you can also do is make a little bit of a cut swing, which is from outside to inside. It's not mandatory. You can set up uh, open and make your normal swing. That means uh, relative to the target, it is outside to inside. But because we're set up to the left with the club face open, it's really uh, a straight swing relative to the body. So we're going to, again, make a couple practice swings. As always, you need to get a feel for how much swing you want to make. You need to make sure that you make enough swing. If you really need it to stop fast, you'll open the face even more and really uh, have the feeling that you're cutting across it. You see the pros on TV making a lot of practice swings. What they're doing is making a plan for how they want to hit the shot. They're rehearsing the shot over and over again, trying to get a feel for how much swing. When I have the feeling, then I go to the ball and simply repeat it. So, that one was a little bit too far. Let's try it again. A little bit less swing. That's better, got kind of a bad bounce, uh, but that was better. You're gonna to wanna to practice these shots as often as possible. The ball needs to be sitting pretty decently to attempt this shot. That's better. A little bit on the down slope. Try one more. That one, we la I landed a lot shorter because the green's a little bit fast today. So practice this shot a little bit until you get good at it, and then you can give it a shot on the golf course and in competition. But you're going to want to practice this one a lot, especially if you play on hard and fast greens. Feel free to subscribe here to my channel on YouTube, and there will be a lot of videos for every aspect of the game, how you can improve, how you can practice. Visit my website, learninggolf.tv. There I have a set of drills that will help you build a repetitive golf swing. There's two single plane swing methods, as well as the conventional golf swing. I prefer the single plane swing because of the amazing accuracy and distance it provides. Uh, give, it a, give it a try, check it out, uh, and view some of my other videos here as well. Have fun practicing. Mm -hmm.